<laughs> hey guys, we're on in five minutes. Tonight on Secret Neighborhood News. A new way to say hello to your neighbor. Emotes are hitting the store, allowing for new interactions in the game. Collectible trophies are coming to Secret Neighbor. What are these trophies and how do you earn them? And the moment you've all been waiting for, the Golden Apple Amusement Park is opening up for business. We're taking a look at the preparations and getting an inside look at what you can expect. All of this and more in Secret Neighborhood News. Hello, and welcome to Secret Neighborhood News. Tiny Fox and I have a lot of details to share with you tonight, and a few surprises we think you'll enjoy. But don't worry, we're leaving a few things for you to discover as well. Our first topic tonight is the new emotes being added to the store. Here you will find several emotes for the neighbor, with more to come this year. To equip the emote, go to your character in the menu and select the new mask icon below. Here you can choose which emotes you would like to equip for your character. I'm excited to see the future of the neighborhood with these emotes. Now, if you have any suggestions for future emotes, be sure to write them in the comments below. Next up, I'm joined by our community manager, Tiny Fox, at the Golden Apple Amusement Park, where park volunteers are preparing for opening night. Tiny Fox, what's going on at the amusement park? Hello, and welcome to Secret Neighborhood News at 9. I am here at the Golden Apple Amusement Park, where preparations are underway for opening night. Excuse me, sir, what are your thoughts on the park's progress so far? Uh, the progress on the park is coming along swimmingly. After following my des um, <coughs> the, um, the engineer's designs of the place, I think that particularly our carnival tent is going to attract many, many, many avid uh, tourists. That sounds great. What else can people find at the amusement park? They will also find themselves riveted with our full-scale decked-out theater. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I can see everyone's rehearsing for the show. What is your favorite part of the amusement park? One of the attractions I find endlessly entertaining would be the merry-go-round. Simple, but timeless. What, 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 what in the... Uh, uh, if you'll excuse me, I have to, I have to attend to this. You there! You! That stack is not up to FDA regulations! As you can see, the staff are hard at work preparing for opening night. By the way, Mad-Eye, you need to get over here so we can check out the new studio at the park. New studio? Hold on one moment, I'll be right there. Uh, Mad-Eye? Well, I guess I'll be taking over for a little bit, and in the meantime, I'll walk us over to the new studio. In addition to the opening of the Golden Apple Amusement Park, we have a Secret Neighbor map contest taking place right now. If you have a cool map that you would like to show the community, you can enter the contest from now up to August 15th. Grand prize winners may even have a chance to have their map featured in the game. To enter, be sure to submit your map in the contest submission channel on our Discord server. If you've yet to join, that will be at discord.gg slash neighborgames. The use of Halloween decorations is highly encouraged. For further details on the contest and prizes, you can pause your screen right here. Welcome back, Mad-Eye. Do you want to take on the next topic? Gladly. Our next piece of news is still in development, but will begin to appear in this update. Secret Neighbor is now receiving trophies that players can collect by performing various tasks around the neighborhood. Once you get a trophy, you'll be able to view them inside your own private room and bask in their shiny glory. I'll give you a slight hint how to acquire one of these trophies. I've received reports that there is a mysterious person wandering around the neighborhood, and no, this is not Mr. Peterson. If you find him, you might just receive a trophy. Reports say that this person is tall, looks highly suspicious, and likes to stay hidden. So be on the lookout. And with regards to being on the lookout, there have been reports that the scary neighbor has mastered the art of impersonating others. Instead of being able to disguise himself as the nearest person, the scary neighbor can now choose who they want to disguise themselves as. So be careful when you're going up against a scary neighbor. And Tiny Fox, I think we have one more piece of news before we end this broadcast. 
Am I right? That we do, Mad-Eye. In the coming days, players will be able to see a new addition to the neighborhood, if you're new to Secret Neighbor, or if you're perhaps a veteran who needs a refresher. We have a new tutorial that shows how to play each class from Neighbor to Rescue Squad. Here we have the opening segment of the tutorial and part of the main room where players can choose which class they wish to play. To select a class, approach the box and press the button. You'll spawn in a secure location as your selected class and be able to practice before you decide to cause mischief around the neighborhood. Aw, oh, this looks great. Now the neighbor can practice not stepping in his own traps. The developers did a great job, so let's give them a round of applause. All right, on that happy note, we're going to end our broadcast for Secret Neighborhood News. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, write a comment, subscribe, and... What's this? Pizza delivery! You want it on set! Now? Are you serious? I'll get the film crew. Let's get going. Well, everyone, it looks like we have a slight change in our programming for this evening. I've just been informed that darkness has come to Ravenbrooks. As of this update, the outside will be considerably darker, so you will need to use those flashlights when wandering around the neighborhood. Tiny Fox, how's everything looking outside? Well, as you can see, it's pretty dark out here, so if you're not careful, there's a good chance you might not realize the neighbor's standing right next to you until it's too late. For safety, I recommend using your flashlight and having a buddy with you when investigating your neighbor's house. Here's a flashlight for you. Oh, thank you. Hmm, I see. Well, be careful. I hope everyone can stay safe. I see you!